I was working in Paris and my girlfriend was coming back for Christmas and New Year's Eve. And of course, you know, the restaurant is open. Bummer, boom, how I do? You know, ask a vacation for the chef? No, I will be fired. So I decided to break my uncle. I have a whole box of plastic wrap, like very heavy, on the side of the baseball bat, and just beat it like crazy, like a motherfucker, like 10 times to make sure. Pah! Look like I have a tennis ball. And I want to come to see the chef. So I said, okay, I go to the hospital. Poof, and I cast for three weeks. Bingo, I win. For the holidays, I was with my girlfriend. Croque Monsieur is the king of the sandwich. Nothing is better than that. For a croque monsieur, I like to use a really a French country bread. It's more rustic. One inch thick, parmesan, gruyere, Parisian ham, and our secret bechamel sauce, which is... I'm going to start to do the bechamel. For that, we need milk. Little touch of butter. Melt the butter slowly. In France, we call that a roux. It's when you cook butter with flour to thicken the sauce. Cook it gentle the flour because I don't want my sauce to have too much flavor of raw flour. Why I'm eating the milk before, it's going to be more easy to cook the white sauce. Cook the sauce slowly. See the texture? So now we're going to cook it two or three minutes. Otherwise when I'm cooking or doing white bechamel, it's like I'm thinking like I'm driving a car or a stick. First, two, three, with the flame, with the fire. It's funny. It's all about the speed of the flame. It's like driving a car. My sauce is getting thicker. Well, I'm going to stop my fire now. I'm going to uh, add some uh, Gruyere cheese. The classic recipe in France, we use Gruyere. Be very generous with cheese. Don't be cheap. If you have a good cheese, that's good. You know, that's what Italian food is very good. They put cheese on everything. See my Gruyere? Voilà. So you make sure the sauce is very hot. Add a little touch of Parmesan. Look at the texture of the sauce. Now, we're going to toast our bread. Put a little crepe seed oil. Be careful, we want to toast the bread, but we don't want to do a toast. Toast sometimes can be very crispy and very dry. We want our croque monsieur to be crispy and moist too. So we'll toast our bread slowly. We give a little coloration. I think it was the afternoon at three o'clock and I was with my dad and I have a little croque monsieur with a green salad. I have a glass of red wine and it's just heaven. And you're just watching people passing by. That's Paris. You know, a croque monsieur make me feel about Paris. You know, when you come home at 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock drunk, be perfect. You know, like my friend Anthony, you know, if I was drunk at 2 o'clock in the morning, that's a perfect, 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 perfect snack I love to eat. Put a little bit of bechamel on the croque here. So like this, the bechamel is going to cook and it's going to soak into the bread. Gruyère, a little bit of parmesan. Cooking is all about to be generous. Press it a little bit. Like this. Here's the sound a little bit. More sauce on top now. Cheese here. Now I'm going to put my croque monsieur in the oven. Oh yeah. Crispy, it's moist, it's cheesy. The sandwich is all about bread. Croque monsieur, it's Paris. In the bistro. With a little glass of wine and good company. I love it.